hello everyone how you all doing in this video we are going to talk about iphone 7 and battery drain issue on iphone 7 on ios 15 it does not matter if you are on ios 15.3 or 15.2 iphone 7 have been suffering a lot lately because of this issue battery drain is a really big issue on iphone 7 and iphone 7 users yeah man i know your device lasts two three hours on one charge this is not something just with your device it is with everyone's device even my device lasts just three four hours on a single charge i have some tips and tricks which may help you increase your battery standby time these are all the tips that i have used and i have noticed these have been effective in my usage let's get right into this video my name is jay you are watching tech hype be sure to subscribe to this channel because i am really close to 10k and i really want to get to 10k it was my goal to get to 10k last year but it was not achieved so it would be awesome if you can hit that subscribe button and now that you have done that let's get right into this video all right so number one thing is factory resetting your device like right now if you can see my device looks really neat and clean that's because i recently factory resetted my device and this is actually one of the most effective thing you can do with your device this is the main thing that i did which helped me getting more battery standby time i reset in my device and no you do not have to back up your device or back up your data and then reset your device no you do not have to do that just reset your device and then start with a fresh new device basically yes this is really hard for a lot of people even for me it was a bit hard like it was not real hard for me because I, as you know uh, i'm a tech youtuber I, I keep on reviewing iphones on various different ios firmwares even iphone 7 so i keep switching my devices but it still affected me because i do had a lot of data on my iphone 7 but yeah this is the only way which helped me getting more than an hour of standby on battery which was really really big and one hour is a big thing for iphone 7 users yeah you know now the other thing is low power mode yes i may sound crazy here but i realized that ever since i removed that percentage from the status bar and removed low power mode from my device it did actually increase my battery battery backup see so how it works is that you do not have to uh, just look at your battery percentage again and again because it just keeps on giving you anxieties and 90% of your work is done as soon as you as you remove that percentage right there because I did realize that when I had that percentage up there it was just reminding me for no reason to put my device on charge even when it had like 20% and uh, I was able to use my device for about 15 to 25 minutes it's more on that 20 percent charge so removing that percentage from the top did actually helped me getting more battery life actually feeling that i got more battery life from my device it is just all about psychology you know i'm not your psychology teacher don't worry i'm just talking about normal psychology then the next thing is as you can see i just resetted my device recently so that's why my usage and activity apps are so less so as you can see 28 minutes in background you do get actually more of this data let me show you for example here on my iphone 12 you can see that uh, here i have 2 hours 19 minutes on screen and 35 minutes in background which means this app took a lot of my battery when i was not using it but it was just still 35 minutes right the main thing that took a lot of battery from my device is twitter as you can see five hours and one minute in background like this thing took a lot of battery from my device so do kill those apps which you do not really use 24 7 like whenever you pick up your phone for example me i use twitter a lot so it doesn't really make sense for me to kill twitter because whenever you are relaunching the app it will take uh, the same amount of battery as it would have taken in the background so it does not make sense for me to remove twitter from my background but for example there are some apps for example banking apps there are some banking apps that i just open once a while or once in a day or just like once in a week those apps you should kill from back from your background activity and it does help you in getting more battery life i have noticed it in my usage then other tip is yes you guys i know you guys have heard this uh, from a lot of tech youtubers from a lot of tips videos but background app refresh just do not turn this off just do it on wi-fi and uh, just uh, remove some apps like books maps and all which you do not really use a lot or 
for example these podcast app i just open this whenever I use this app at that time so i don't really want this app to to keep refreshing in the background so i can just turn it off but the most effective thing i can say is just keep it on wi-fi just do not keep it on mobile data because mobile data just takes a lot of battery in the background now the final tip is getting your battery replaced yes this may sound a bit weird but getting your battery replaced does actually make a big difference getting your battery replaced will make your iphone feel much faster and much responsive and of course you will get more screen on time when you will get the battery replaced and if you are thinking about using your device for another year or two it is really really worth getting your battery replaced or even if you are about to sell it but you still want to use this thing until the iphone 14 releases I would say still it is worth spending that money and, and getting the battery of this iPhone replaced and get it replaced from Apple, all right? Because if you get it replaced from a third party store, you know, your value of this phone will be decreased a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. As you all know, my goal is to reach 10K by the end of this year. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. And now that you have done that, peace out and have a great day, everyone.